greetings to all those who are tuning in. I'd like to share some thoughts about the time period that we're in, the three weeks, that were based on thoughts from Aaron Lichtenstein, Mori Verabi, Zuchron Levracha, who passed away a little over a year ago. We are now during the period of Bein HaMitzarim, the three weeks between Shavasar B'Tammuz and Tisha B'Av, commemorating primarily the destruction of the Batei Mikdash. As we know, the first Beit HaMikdash was destroyed because of the Gimel Averot, Shichut Amim, Avodah Zarah, and Gilui Arayot, while the second Beit HaMikdash was for Sinat Chinam. We could understand the first three Averot, the first Beit HaMikdash, those three Averot are horrible, terrible things that pervaded the society However, Sinat Chinam, it's one Avera, and it's not even the most severe Avera. In fact, Rabbi Yonah teaches us that a lav sheyesh bo maase, an action, a prohibition that comes with an action, is much more severe than something like Sinat Chinam, which has no action. Furthermore, it is only one Avera out of so many Avera. So, of course, it's a terrible thing, but why would that warrant the destruction of the entire temple and the entire community? Rav Lichtenstein points to the al prayer that we recite on Yomim Noraim as perhaps the window to this answer. In the al prayer, we mention many, many particular sins, but we also mention the roots of some of those sins. And it is in the al where we say, In addition to the Veirot of Lashon Hara and not being compassionate enough, we also mention Sinat Chinam. So we see from here, Sinat Chinam is not just one of many Averot, but it is really the root of a certain attitude towards life and towards people. We also find in the Rambam, in Elchot Tshuva, teaches that it's not sufficient to do Tshuva for particular sins, but we also need to do Tshuva for our attitudes and our Midot Ra'ot. Keshim Shetzarich Adam Lashuv Me'elu, we have to do tshuva from anger, mena'eva, from kina, from jealousy, from greed, etc. Why sinat chinam? We say in the Pirkei Avot, Shimon HaTzadik teaches at the very beginning of Pirkei Avot that the world stands on three pillars, Torah, Avodah, and Gemilut, Chasadim, Torah, service, and loving kindness. Without this pillar of loving kindness, if that becomes corroded with baseless hatred, the world is liable to collapse. And that's why it was so, such a problem. However, Rav Luchenstein says, is it true that hatred could really be baseless? Is that, is that really true, that it comes from nowhere? And he proves from the Gemara that no, it's really not the case, that it has to come from somewhere. The same way that when one gives gifts to other people, the Gemara points out that there's always a basis for giving that gift, and it really is some transaction that even the giver of the gift receives something in return, so too when it comes to hatred, it has to come from somewhere. These days are days of tshuva. The Rambam says fast days are days where one has to look at one's deeds and repent for individually and as a community, not just what happened long ago, but even what is happening today. Sinat chinam is something that is prevalent today as well. And it's something that we need to look at our actions and see, and see what are our shortcomings, but also what are the roots of those shortcomings? What, is the, what are the roots of that hatred that seems baseless, but really it's not baseless? It comes from a certain lack of sensitivity, a lack of compassion, maybe a self-centeredness. Whatever those roots are, this is the time period for us in, as individuals and as a community to think about and to introspect and to what those shortcomings are based on. Hopefully we can uncover the roots of our sinat chinam, eradicate it, and replace it with avat chinam. And hopefully with, it, with that merit, we will see the return of all the Jewish people to Eretz Yisrael and the building of the Yerushalayim and the Beit HaMikdash very soon.